Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new to this channel, this uh, you can search on YouTube or Google, and this is uh, my channel name, Alien Tech Champion. And this channel is uh, meant for the technical news related to the Microsoft in, in Endpoint Manager, Microsoft Intune, whatever you call uh, Apple iOS, Android, mobile operating system, and Windows operating system, and in anything related to technicals or anything. So don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel because it's free of cost. In this video, I'm going to show you if you're working for any organization or as a consultant or anything or being as especially L1 or L2 support or as a service desk or help desk or whatever term you call. So how, how you can troubleshoot this? So maybe you're wondering, right, if you get the call from the end users, how you can uh, assist the users, how you where you can check at the first level whether the intune uh, intune has uh, user has a intune license on it in it or or whether your user is a part of group or not whether the user is active so how you can start from the basic if you are especially working in, in in a help desk as a service desk agent for any organization or if you want to give training to someone just use this video right it's, it's a free of course so this if uh, this is microsoft Intune portal or microsoft endpoint manager portal here you have to go to the of course to access this this blade you need some permissions to access right and i have made video on this how you can define the role and grant access to the agents based on the level of access or or uh, and then you can make a role and assign to the admins so you have to just go to the troubleshoot and support and you see here there is three tab right the guided scenario you have to click on troubleshoot and select the user so I have only one user just select this one if you if you're working for an you will see the list of users or you can search for any users what but it will show you right so you see I have selected this users MDM expert principal name UPN is there you see here Intune license option is there right so it is currently in yellow triangle shape right if, 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 if this user is it does mean it means it this user had does not Intune license right so if Intune license will be there then it will be so in true green mark instead of yellow so the first thing you need to check whether this user is in tune license has or not you can also check the group membership if you have uh, any group membership it will show here whether this user is a part of any uh, licensing groups or any any groups so you can check it here also now you just you can also um, and you know now you can see the assignment so by default it will say client applications you see all those compliance policy if you want to see if any compliance policy is assigned to these users you will see here it's included if if any configurations policy is assigned you see here it's included app production policies so there is no policies targeted for this users powershell script you see yes there is one script enrollment restriction is there yes of course device limit and device right so everything like application is there you see uh, this uh, we have applied like for this user for ios or android right outlook team and some some and if your device is enrolled you will see currently there is no device enrolled so there is no registered devices if your device is enrolled if any devices is enrolled with this user account it will show here right and you can just click it and you'll open app production stress there is no app production and there is no enrollment failure so you will see if any of these will happen you will see here app production status i will show you this one whether you are using mam or fully mdm it will show for both right and you can also refresh the data so that the data will get refreshed and you will see the latest information so this is the one of the basic troubleshooting you can start checking most of the agents don't know where to check and from where we can start so the first thing you have to see the license the group membership 
and anything uh, you see any device is registered any restrictions is there you can check uh, any restrictions is there uh, or, or enrollment failure right like you can review all the enrollment failure of the users like whether um, why the failure is happened whether it's unsupported OS or maybe uh, something it will show here right so maybe in the next video I will enroll one of my devices I will show you but but this is this is where you can check um, being as a, as a as a l1 or l2 support uh, and and then start troubleshooting and assist the user till then thank you have a good day i hope you have learned from where you can start and troubleshoot and support the end user effectively in your organization till then thank you have a good day and don't forget to subscribe thank you